even know me like that Are you past my time? Put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks by is going to be about organization slash toy rotation that I do so I do a toy rotation for the kids once a week so every Thursday if I can't get to it every Thursday I'll do it like a day later or whatever depending on what's going on and I wanted to share with you guys like the process and everything and it is a lot like it takes a lot of energy like I'm sweating by the end of it um, it's just it's just a lot but if they were playing with the toys all of the toys all at once like my living room would be covered and the main reason why i started this is because of living in a small apartment um not having much room in my living room so i, was, I thought of it and i'm like you know what i should do like a cube as you can see right there and i'll show you guys like a clip of all the toys laid on it at the end how i have it all so i put one toy in each cube and then like some big toys around the outside of the cube and doing this has got him to play with all of his toys and not just some of them and then I feel like sorry he needed a toy I feel like um he doesn't get like overwhelmed by having like too many toys out at once as well um so yeah much less of a mess um he pays more attention to the toys that he has um, doesn't get overwhelmed and when I bring them out for the first like couple days especially the first day he is so into them and plays with them constantly and just stays busy so it really helps me out um, and then I definitely can see like if I didn't do this once a week it wouldn't work as well because he starts to get sick of his toys after about a week of having them sometimes I can go a couple more days if he gets like new toys but um, I definitely love doing this and I hope um, this like helps you guys figure out like how to do it because um, I'm going to show you my process from beginning to end my whole entire process on how I do it and um, if you want to do it then hopefully this helps uh, you guys um, feel like more organized about it I guess and then I bought he's over here playing with his toys he asked me to put him at the kitchen table <laughs> to sit at, at his booster chair to play with his trucks and cars but um what was I saying um oh I bought these um bins from Target when I went and did my Valentine's Day trip and they're like these three drawer um bins and I show me organizing the closet with those as well and I'm so glad I bought those because um the system I was using before I got those was like getting really overwhelming and I was running out of room to put stuff because he keeps getting more and more toys so I'm super excited to show you guys all of this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into it thing I do is I get all of the toys that were out into his room and just kind of throw them anywhere there's like no rhyme or reason I just throw them in here get them out from out there so I have a clean canvas to work with to make sure that there's not like toys that he's playing with over and over and over again I write down the list so let's see here yep this is all the stuff that I have out right now so this is everything that I'm putting away so then I'll just put right here put away on what date and then I'll make another page right here of today's date and what I took out in rotation.
all the bins are down because I wanted to make sure I went through all of them to see what I wanted. So this is going out there and this pile here is gonna go out there. So this is what the house looks like after toy rotation day. So I put toys, like the bigger toys on the sides of the cube here, like I was talking about earlier. So I got his um, mop and broom set here, a couple of these construction toys here. And then their chair stays out here with the stuffed animals that they want. This big bin here is for all of Lula's stuff. So that stays out here. And then um, Lula's little jumper stays with her toys. They stay out here as well. This table goes here, and then this is another thing that stays out here. His tool bench with all of this um, tool stuff that always stays. And same with that basketball hoop. And then the trampoline. But other than that, the toys on the outside and the cube change out each week. And this is overview of what it looks like. There's eight cubes. And in this one, for this week, I put his dinosaur puzzle. This is his little dinosaur egg thing he got in a Happy Meal little stacking cup thing. This is his coffee set in this cube. This is his little uh, car track thing in this one. His magnetic tiles here and all of his little tight cars are in this one. Then all of his cars are in this basket and then his big car here and then his wooden car garage is in this one. And then this one has his leapfrog and his um, straw cup that he does for sensory. So that is what is out this week in rotation.
and this top in here, I put all of his like um, learning stuff, like flashcards, um, his little writing pad, a book, and these little learning cards for Lula's toys. So this drawer has more room to fit stuff in. He's got, I feel like he's got a lot of uh, learning toys out right now. Okay, to say I need more space is an understatement. So I just um, ended up taking that cube off because it was so heavy it was hard to open and shut this drawer, which even with this stuff on it, these things are super cheap, but they work. Um, anyways, so I put the ball over here on top. This looks a lot more organized now. I just put the ball over here on top of this, and then I put that cube up there on top of the chairs. Then he has all of his Melissa and Doug blocks there, his Lego blocks there, um, his Melissa and Doug farm, um, tractors, like push toys, and then, yeah, that's the learning toy bin. This is all of his, like, cooking stuff and kitchen stuff. I should say there's his and Lula's. And I put some of the blocks in here to get out of the way, the, those blocks over there, the, um building blocks I guess I don't know and this has got his puzzles in this drawer their puzzle and then I put some the wooden toys in here as many as I could fit because they took up a lot of room in those little bins and then this has his wooden um, track I got from Ikea with his little train and then more of these um, uh, the blocks the most undug blocks so yeah that is the new closet organization and I don't even know how I fit all of this into those five bins. Well, no, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I was using seven. Now I can actually use those gray ones for storage instead of toys like I was. So I'm really happy about that because I cleared out a lot of space in those. So yeah, that is everything. After Cash whining for a little bit, fix the angle of this thing. Um, he ended up being like really good for the rest of my video. So that is what I love about the toy rotation is he gets like fresh new toys each week. And every time I bring out his new toys, he's so into them. He'll just play for hours. So that is one great thing that I've noticed about doing the toy rotation. Huh, buddy? So this current situation, what my house looks like after toy rotation Kind of gets a bit crazy doesn't it buddy because he likes to have a surface to play with his cars on he could use this surface or he could use that but he chooses to use this but uh his dad is building us a new kitchen table and i'm hoping that it's going to be tall enough to the point where he can't really reach and put his toys on it um also because these chairs are super cheap and flimsy and the table is super light so he's able to tip in the chairs and take his feet and push the table he's even shoved the table over before so the whole geez kid do you think you need help mm. he's got yogurt in here where's the lid you're supposed to keep the lid on that better so yeah he's been able to tip over the table before so with this new table we got i know for sure he won't be able to tip it over because it's super heavy but um uh but yeah, this is what it looks like currently. Just a big old mess. A little blanket fort. And another reason why I love doing the toy rotation is because it enables me to keep the toys out of his room. So the only toy that he has out in here is his ball pit because we don't have room for it in the living room. And look how clean and just like organized except for, you know, the pillows on the ground right there and his bed not made. But um, it's just made it so that his room doesn't get overcrowded. I mean, I'm so glad I did this because before I would have toys in his room and toys out there. Well, now they're only out there and I'm able to keep his room nice and clean.